All right, moving downwards on our Sydney demo, we need to create the our team section, which is really beautiful with this hover and the social icons. Fortunately for us, after we've done all this hard custom work in Elementor, we finally get a custom Sydney widget. How do we use that? Well, we just go to our elements and scroll all the way down to the Sydney elements. And here we have our eight themes employees carousel. So let's drag it in and let's see what we got. And we got basically nothing. So we're back to custom developing. Let's click on the team gray area and it should take us to the list of employees. Now in the olden days, we would add employees in our dashboard in a specific tab of the dashboard called employees and then they would fill in here. In this case with Elementor, we just do it all from the Elementor Builder right in front of us right here. So to get started, you just need to click add an item and I've already done that. So we have item one. Let's click on it and open it up and see what we can make. All right, not bad. So first we need an image of a person and I can go to Facebook for that. First one will probably be yourself if you're maybe the CEO or the president. So I'm just going to go to Facebook and I'm going to grab like any random old picture that, I mean, maybe you have one on your phone, like your iPhone or your Android, but um, we can just right click any image on Facebook and right click it again. And you want to right click it until you get the save image as button. Perfect. Save it. We'll call this one Facebook Sydney photo and save it. So I'm going to head to Instagram to get a picture of our building managers and I'm not sure why they only have two posts because I post for them almost every day. You should definitely come check out our cute family, but at least we have one photo. So uh, let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to screenshot it. Command shift four. I'm going to screenshot this to get a picture and we're going to go with that. Okay. All right, so now that you have a few photos, maybe you got them from Facebook or Google, your phone, Reddit, wherever you get them, you want to come back to your employee carousel and you're going to click choose image, upload files and select those files from your computer. All right, so I have my blogger in chief, my Sydney photo, and then open those. And then on the desktop is the screenshot I took of the kittens. So insert those. Um, and then we're gonna upload one more, select files. We're gonna to go to the desktop and that's where the screenshot of the kittens is. Double click to open that one. All right, so what I wanna do is, is I'm gonna click on the picture of this fine lady and myself and edit image. And we are just gonna crop her out by clicking and dragging and cropping ourselves in and her out. Okay, and we're gonna crop it. And then save it. Okay, so update the image. Now back in Elementor, we can close our media window and just update the page. And then we're gonna refresh the page and then the new images will come in. Beautiful. So when the images come in, you're gonna to need to replace maybe that first one if you put in the image too soon. So let's click on the um, employee carousel item itself, open it up, and we're gonna open that image and choose the image we cropped of ourselves. Super cool, and then we can give ourselves a name. So Greg, position, WordPress guy. You can go ahead and put in the Facebook links. It's really easy if you wanna just Pop them in, www.facebook.com slash dearblogger is where we post every day. You can get free help. Talk to people like you who are building a blog. And you really should like that page and get involved. Post a comment. It's obviously free on Facebook. You'd be amazed how much you can learn. And then Twitter is just for quick help and quick stories about blogging. And that's all we really need. All right, so I'm going to um, update that first item and close it and then click on that team member section and add item again. For number two, we're going to do our Instagrammer in chief, insert media. All right. And then her name, 
position is boom and then Facebook I'm not sure Twitter I'm not sure but we'll put in something just so it looks good and update it and then close it and then one more add item choose image that would be Los Gatos alright so they definitely have an Instagram don't know if we have an Instagram option here in the uh, Sydney Builder but we can always figure that out later maybe we'll request it okay so you get the picture pretty easy to set up your own team members social profiles and give them a featured box on the home page let's update it now now that we have three team members and now let's see how it looks on our home page and let's close up some of these little tabs all right let's see if we made anything that looks like the demo site all right we're going to scroll down and we're going to see we have three team members super cool only problem is our photo is a little bit bigger because it's a vertical image instead of just a normal Facebook image so we have to crop that in the WordPress images alright so let's go hamburger menu exit to dashboard let's go to media and let's see the size of our blogger in chief's image so that's just 960 by 960 just a perfect square and we're gonna go back to our image and what we should have done is made this one a perfect square so let's edit it and I'm gonna now just crop what shows up here even if it's like not what showed up a second ago just gonna click on top and drag and so we can get a perfect square we can make the aspect ratio on the right hand column of 1 to 1 and then hold down the shift key and we can just drag so it's always a square so when I drag now it's always going to be a square all right and crop it and save it all right beautiful now when we refresh our site maybe it'll show up maybe it won't not sure it won't show up so we have to go back to edit with Elementor and we're gonna come down to our team section click on that image item 1 delete the image grab the new image which is a square insert media and then update now let's open our site in a new tab and it should show up as three squares for our team perfect all right so the only thing we need to do is make the padding a little bit larger and get the our team header in there all right so we can do that easily back in Elementor we are just going to go to the elements by clicking on the nine boxes drag in a heading above the team section let's call this our team and center it and then we're going to add some margin beneath the do you want to section so click on the do you want to section advanced margin bottom of let's say 80 which should give our team the nice space that it needs and now we can update it now let's refresh our site and see how it looks with our new header beautiful we could add a little space in between our team and the images themselves if we click on the heading we can give it some padding of its own beneath itself bottom padding of maybe 30 and update and beautiful so now on our site we have our team section and when we hover we can get the social media icons and see the position of the person super cool and if you add a fourth team member then you'll get that nice little team member carousel effect